Hey everyone, welcome to AG Tech. Windows 11 24H2 is getting closer and closer to being released. And in this video, I will be talking a little bit about the new Copilot Plus PCs and showing you all the new features to expect and the clear conclusion to when 24H2 will be released for most of us Windows 11 users who don't have Copilot Plus PCs. But before diving in, if you like the video, consider subscribing and leaving a like on this video for more Windows content. 24H2 was kind of up and down about what to expect. At one point, we all thought this update was going to be Windows 12. So that's why I decided to make this video closer to the release date. So you guys have close to accurate info on what to expect from Windows 11 24H2. Once Microsoft has confirmed that there was not going to be Windows 12, but rather 24H2, we had the idea that it was going to be a massive update with tons of new AI features. But as things are starting to clear up, it's easy to understand that's not going to be the case. The official 24H2 has already been released, but is only available for Copilot Plus PCs at the moment. And they're the only PCs that come with the amazing AI features. But that's not going to stop me from sharing a little bit about the new AI features that are on the Copilot Plus PCs. I don't have a Copilot Plus PC unfortunately, so I will show you guys screenshots of what these features look like. Number one, Windows Recall. This is an app that runs in the background, takes screenshots of everything you see or do on your computer screen, which gives the user the ability to go back and see what they've done in the past. Does the first part of what I said sound sketchy? That's exactly why it received a bad response from the community and computer specialists because of privacy concerns and it will be released sometime in October. And it's really one of the top features when it comes to AI in Windows 11. Windows Studio Effects These are a new set of settings that can be applied to your webcam or mic and use AI to enhance your video and audio feed on apps like Teams, Skype, Zoom, Slack, Google Meet, or even the camera app. Users will be able to access it from the control center. Visual effects like background blur, eye correction, portrait light, or some that will be available. Third, we have live captions. So this feature uses AI to translate videos and audios in 40 plus languages, whether they're pre-recorded or live. So let's say you're watching a YouTube video in a language that you don't understand. Thanks to this feature, you can get captions in English or your primary language. Or if you're on a Zoom call and people are speaking another language, you'll be able to understand. So you'll know if they're making fun of you or not. It's also going to be located in the control center for easy accessibility image generation. Microsoft is introducing some sick AI capabilities with co-creator in the paint app and image generator in the photos app which can generate images based on prompts that the user will type in. Uh, you can describe what you want to be created. Those are some really sick features that can bring Windows 11 to the next level. Those who don't have a Copilot Plus PC, including me, some of us can't just buy a new Copilot PC just to get these new features, can still expect some amazing stuff on the 24H2 update. First things first, Copilot is getting another update. Copilot has been around for a pretty long time now. We've also known it as kind of like an add-on that would open on the right side of the screen. Now unlike previous releases, Windows Copilot in version 24H2 will be a web app, which means it can be moved around your screen and snapped just like a normal app. You'll be able to find, as you can tell, it has an updated UI with a dedicated area for chats with Copilot. That's where you're going to enter your prompt. It also has a sidebar interface that will keep track of the different topics of conversation you've had with Copilot. You can also access plugins and the Copilot notebook, as you can tell right here from the side from the sidebar. There's also a new sign in button uh, where you can sign in with a Microsoft account. Also, now that it's an app, it's no longer stuck in the corner with no resizing options. You'll be able to actually resize it to your preference. You can put it in full screen or even minimize it. And you will also be able to move the taskbar icon to anywhere you want on the taskbar, which was not possible before. Microsoft keeps making more amazing changes in the file explorer and this time they added the ability to create 7-zip and star compressed files. In 23H2, the previous feature update, we had the zip support feature which let us extract zip files 
without external softwares, but in 24H2, we will be able to create them. Microsoft has updated the context menu across the OS, now placing common actions such as copy, paste, and cut at the very top in much larger buttons that also include labels. And this makes it easy and accessible compared to previous versions of Windows. There are more changes in the quick settings over here. You will now be able to scroll through all of the quick settings available on your PC instead of having a selection of them picked by you. You can also drag any of the quick settings to any position you like, like this. If you want to move live captions to here, you can do that. You can move the Wi-Fi to anywhere you want, just like that. Another cool thing is they added a refresh button in the Wi-Fi list. For example, if you go here to see all the different net networks you have, there has been a new refresh um, button right here that will refresh the networks that are showing. So if for whatever reason you don't see your network here, you can just press the refresh button and hopefully you'll be able to find it. The next one is rather an interesting one. Microsoft has been really taking phone link capabilities seriously. They're adding phone link integration to the start menu. And as shown in the screenshot, it will float next to your start menu with the status of your phone and any recent notifications. And if you click on any of the options, you'll be redirected to the phone link app. Based on looks, I would give it a 7.5 out of 10 because it looks pretty neat. Microsoft is also introducing voice clarity, an AI-powered microphone enhancement feature that will remove background noise when on a call or recording. This will be very helpful if you're in a loud environment all the time. This feature was previously exclusive to Surface PCs with NPU hardware, but in 24H2, it will now be rolling out to all supported Windows 11 PCs without the need for an NPU chip. Concerning power saving options, 24H2 will bring a new energy saver mode and it applies to both desktops and laptops. And what it will do, it will reduce your laptop or PC's energy consumption by reducing performance and that will help to extend battery life if you're using a laptop and reduce the power pulled from the wall if you're using a desktop PC. And finally, Microsoft Teams. 24H2 is going to introduced a whole new Teams client experience. Microsoft Teams will be unified, and what I mean by that is the Teams for school and the work client will be merged together with the personal Teams client into a single Teams client. Therefore, you'll be able to use the same Teams client for personal use, but at the same time, jump on work calls and do school-related stuff. Now, you'll be able to easily switch accounts in one Microsoft Teams client. So those are the bigger features coming with Windows 11 24H2 update. Feel free to comment down below which of the features you're excited for. And also, if I missed a feature, you can always put it down there also. There are some under the radar changes that are coming with 24H2. And that is the removal of built-in Windows apps from the OS image. Apps like Cortana, Mail, Calendar, Maps, People, Movies and TV won't be installed by default anymore. WordPad will also be completely removed, but I have a video showing how to keep it after the Windows 11 24H2 update. You can click up above to see that video. But anyways, if you reset your PC starting from when Windows 11 24H2 is released and you upgrade to it, those apps will not be available to you anymore. They won't even be available in the Microsoft Store. On the taskbar, Microsoft also added a little Wi-Fi icon animation when connecting to a Wi-Fi network. Like I said at the beginning, Windows 11 24H2 is already available on Copilot Plus PCs. If you don't have a Copilot Plus PC, the update is not released yet. Even though we don't have an exact release date for 24H2, excluding Copilot Plus PCs, I've heard it might be released in September or October, so my guess is late September or early October. That's about it guys. I hope you guys are excited for Windows 11 24H2 because I am. If you liked the video and it was helpful, consider subscribing to the channel for more Windows content. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you all in the next video.